Guys, remember the white man that was arrested in Liberia for attempting to kill his Liberian wife with a knife after she announced to him that she was pregnant? Last year, we covered the story of Richard Lucas and Jessica B. Lloyd in Liberia. Richard was said to be a missionary, a U.S. missionary working in Liberia, spreading the gospel and spreading the word of God. And if you remember the story, Richard was already married to an American woman. He had a wife. And it's almost as though his wife was also with him in Liberia running their missionary work, but probably in different parts of Liberia. Somewhere along the line, Richard meets Jessica, a Liberian girl, and he fell in love with her. And at the time, we got to learn that he ended up paying a bride price and doing all the rights to marry her. But to be fair, he did tell Jessica and her family that he had a wife already in the USA, but he told his wife about this because the wife can't give birth and the wife is, you know, barren and all of those things. And they were like, okay, fine, why not? And Jessica still agreed to marry him. So towards the end of his missionary job in Liberia, while he was married to Jessica, Jessica revealed to him that she was pregnant. And he acted as though he was happy. However, though, we got to learn on multiple occasions that he tried to give her medication to flush the pregnancy out without her knowledge. So he was trying everything to get her to lose the pregnancy but it all didn't work and then this one time he took her in his car and saying that they should go around and chill he was going to travel the next day back to the u.s but he'll be back he even agreed to get an apartment promised her everything all the money in the world to buy her things and all of those things and while they were in the vehicle going back and forth finding the perfect spots to stay and chill and talk he even tried to coerce her to go into a cemetery so that they can go and look around the cemeteries, you know, thinking this is one of those American movies where you walk into the cemetery to chill and have picnic. Not knowing the cemetery was not that kind of place. Somewhere along the line, this man pretended that his car had broken down and ended up dragging this girl into the bush, trying to use a knife to slit her throat. When passerby saw him, fought him, he was chased down and eventually arrested. However, he claimed that he did not do it and he claimed that it was someone else that did it. Jessica survived it and all of those bits, he was taken to court and somewhere along the line, we don't know how the court proceedings went, but last week it was announced that he was found not guilty and had been set free. And in this video, you could see Jessica chasing him down and raining curses at him, swearing at him. It's not clear how he did it, but we kind of figured out that maybe he had a good defense lawyer or maybe... He paid his way out. After all, he is an American. And if the American government or he has support from his American community, there's a chance that he could have gotten away with this. There's a chance that he could manipulate the law in Liberia not to be held accountable. But we don't know if they will appeal or if he will finally be set free and allowed to go back to his country. We don't know the deal there. But what we are getting to here is that he was found not guilty. Part of why I think he was found not guilty is most likely because jessica did not die eventually and the truth is given liberia's history with finding justice for women who lose their life in weird circumstances in the hands of their men especially foreign men there's still a chance that even if jessica had died he would have still be set free because i don't get i don't understand what is going on in liberia why foreigners are coming into your land to do this and then getting away with it and i'm sure his lawyer was also liberian well it's weird and it's really sad I don't know what the next step is. I read somewhere that the Liberian government will make sure he doesn't leave the country. I don't know why else they are holding him hostage in case maybe they want to take it to the court of appeal. I don't know. Now that he has his freedom, I'm sure he would go back to his country. But this is just unfortunate. It's sad and it breaks my heart. But thank God Jessica is alive because it could have been worse. She could have been dead and he would have still gotten free. It is very sad watching some videos like this. In this video, this is the case of Lucas Richard, a missionary from the United States who came to Liberia to spread the gospel. I don't know if this is the kind of gospel that 
is meant to be spread. Impregnating someone on a missionary work and calling this a gospel. I don't know if churches of nowadays, this is the kind of gospel that you are spreading out there. And then anyway, let's continue. So he came to spread the gospel and he came with his wife, but his wife was not living in the same area with him. She probably may be living in other parts of the country. So whilst Lucas was on his missionary work, he met up with this lady by the name Jessica, and they began having an affair or a relationship, if you'd like to put it that way. And through the relationship, the lady got pregnant. And in order for Lucas to look right in the sight of everyone, he decided that he was going to marry the lady. So he paid the bright price of the lady, presented the family with cola and all other stuff that their family needed as bride price. So in effect, she married Jessica. And he also revealed that he had a wife in the United States and also married this lady in addition to the wife that he already has. So on countless occasions, Lucas decided to abort the pregnancy without the consent of Jessica. So he tried many times giving Jessica different medications in order to abort the pregnancy, but all proved futile. And in the end, he decided he was going to slit her throat in order to perhaps get rid of her or something. Ended up that someone found out and he wasn't successful on this operation. So the police were involved and he was arrested. And after his arrest, the case has been in court for a while now. But to cut everything short, Lucas has been set free. This is the kind of continent that we live on. People come to the continent, do whatever they want to do on our land, and go scot-free. Turn the tables around, and you have a different conversation. Imagine someone from Africa going to the United States, and then marrying a lady from the United States, and this is incident happened. Do you think that this man will even have a chance to even appeal his case in the law court. No. If this thing were to have happened to a black man, he would be in jail by now. But a lot of these foreigners come to our land, perpetrate all sort of crimes, and go scot free with it. Our laws in this land is very weak. It looks like we do not have any laws in the land. But even if we have laws, the laws only widen the locals of the land and the laws do not bide foreigners who come to the land. Because foreigners do whatever they want to do on our land and go score free with it every single day. This is not the very first time I am hearing something like this. We have countless of cases, a lot of cases, where foreigners come in, do whatever they want to do, even in some cases, they get deported and they still find their way back because our laws are not stringent enough and we just leave them to do whatever they want to do on our land. So look at the case of this lady, Jessica. We are just grateful to God that she did not die out of this incident. If she had died, it would even have been brushed down quickly than this that we saw, that it took like a year for a judgment to be pronounced. We live in a continent where if you have the money and the resources to manipulate people and pay your way through the system, you will be able to get away with every crime or anything that you do. This should end and this should stop. 
as Africans, we need to set up, strengthen our, our institutions so that things like this do not happen. It is very sad in this situation that this lady did not even get justice for all the crime that has been meted against her. As a missionary, I don't know why you should even marry on your missionary work. Does the Bible even permit you to marry more? In America, is polygamy allowed? Ask yourself. But when he came here, he saw there was no law binding us, so he could do anything that he wants. You cannot have a second wife in the United States. Why are you trying to have a second wife here? I think we need to strengthen our institutions so that these kind of crime and things like this do not just go down easily like that. Thank you very much for watching this video. Just look at the subscribe button down there. Click on the subscribe button. Click as well on the notification bell. And I'd like to see you in my next video.